this again. So, hello everybody! What is going on? Today is Kibishima here, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy II Dawn of Souls. I'm in a bit of a better condition now. We're working, we're grooving, we're schmoving. I got my whole PC set up. But last time, we took on Lucifer, obtained the Wild Rose, which I believe is the best item available for Gordon. Right? No, Scott. Scott, there we go. And um, off screen, I went ahead and got my potions and stuff back, restocked on ethers, antidotes, gold needles. Uh, sold a bunch of Gaia drones because I realized I didn't really need them. And I swapped out some of our equipment, not a whole lot. Maybe now has the cat claws and diamond gloves. Uh, Scott has the power armlet. I don't think there's much of a change with Scott. Joseph has two poison axes now instead, Genji gloves and the ribbon. And of course, Rickard has that wyvern lance along with the diamond cuirass and gloves. So he's way more defense oriented now. We're all set. We're sitting a bit better. We're a lot more pretty looking. And now we got nothing more but to approach these chests. We obtain a ribbon, but in turn. We must do battle with the Steel Giant. Yep. Just like its counterpart, the Iron Giant. <laughs> Just like one of the, its counterpart, the Iron Giant. We are now forced to face the Steel Giant. A much stronger and more powerful variant. It can be a bit of a pain, of course. This one won't flee, so you should be fine for the most part on that. Um, you might hear a bit of a jingling in the background. That is my one of my cats uh, rummaging about and playing with things here and there. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It shouldn't be too much of a distraction. Let's go and set up ourselves with Protect, Berserk, and let's just start wailing as best as we can. Same old, same old. Use all your best attacks. Of course, gear up, Protect, Wall, Blink, Berserk, Haste. If you feel the need to use Aura, which I don't think you really need to, but if you feel the need to use it, by all means, go for it. It should be a pretty straightforward and easy fight. Probably has somewhere around 10,000 HP, because I learned... Oh, goodness. Um, shield your eyes. I've learned that Lucifer has a total of 10,000 HP. So it can definitely be a very damaging fight. And it can definitely hurt pretty bad. Um, I'm pretty sure that hit everybody, so we're good on that. Shell, ace, attack, attack. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. I would definitely take that. Dish out whatever damage we need to. Hopefully, audio and stuff is working out fine. Hopefully, you guys can hear me well. Because I'm still sorting this all out. But yeah, I guess I can go over a little side stuff. Um, I have a PC now, a proper one. Before, I was just kind of connecting my stuff into my laptop and that shit was not the best as you guys can tell but we're back we are good we are cooking with so much better gas and uh yeah i don't really have much more to admit or say other than we're getting there i have a couple more upgrades i have to make i have a couple more things i have to work on but hopefully in due time this won't just be a video upload thing. Maybe I'll actually be able to start streaming, which I think will be a lot of fun considering the games I want to play. The project I have working, coming up, I'm very excited to get started on them, um, especially considering the setup and everything. It's going to be a hell of a time. I know I'm going to love it. I know you guys are going to enjoy it, and I really look forward to working on it with all of you guys. Um, of course, some of my old buddies will be coming back in due time when it comes to comms and stuff like that. Um, or at least watching and playing along with me. So, oh, if you guys, you know, missed anybody like Jules, you'll miss, you know, Milkman, um, or Grand Pooba, um, what's his name? Deku Scrub or Not Sith. If you miss any of those guys, they will be making a, a Valiant return fairly soon. Uh, whether it be here in the room with me or whether it's going to be from their, the safety of their own homes and using Discord, um, but things like that. Yeah, in due time, we will have them all grouped up back together and we will be cooking with major gas. Go Phoenix down, which I don't need. I already have one. So let's flee forward. Let's move on to the next room. See what we got. Okay, cool. There we go. Power. 
power armlet and a flare tome. Don't really need those. I know I got rid of like the power armlet on a uh, Rickard, but I'm like his attack is already high enough. I need that defense to be a bit beefier, of course. Yeah. Nice, give him my upgrades. Conch shell, not too bad. All right, what we got? What we got? What we got? If I can get there sooner rather than later. There we go, Phoenix down. I already have one, duh. I already have a full set, actually. Wrong way. Here we are. Let's see. Let's see exactly who's in this. Or more so, what is in it. It's fine, we're poison. Easy fix. Use the last of my high potions. There we go. Go. Nice. Not too much that I have to heal. Rickard is almost at 8k, which is really nice. What do we got? Bracers. Ooh, nice. And of course, a monster in a box. And what lies within is Beals Above Soul. Yep. We have to battle Beals Above Soul. Not just from the overworld, but of course, here in Jade or whatever this place may be called. Beals Above Soul is basically the same thing as Beals Above himself from the main game. Magic Caster through and through is probably the easiest one to take out and KO, so just wail on him as best as you can and uh, you shouldn't have too many problems, of course. <sighs> Really, Minwoo, you missed yourself? Come on, man. I really cannot afford that right now. Shell, ace, attack and attack. Boom, 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 boom. Flare, which is fine. Shouldn't be too bad. There we go. But, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm the, back to the note of side story and things like that games. I mean, I do plan on playing a bunch of games coming up fairly soon. Um, I have a lot of stuff sort of in the works. It's more so just written down and then, you know, saying, oh, I'll get to it fairly soon, but I don't know when is soon. But soon as possible. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations for games for me to play, definitely let me know. Comment down below. Um, I am always looking forward to options and, you know, menus. And also, too, because of this whole thing that I have going on, PC-wise and stuff like that, um, I do plan on, anytime I'm gaming with my friends, I'm probably just gonna slap the record button and go with that. Literally just chop it up to bits and throw it up for you guys to watch and see just the stupid commentary that me and my friends come up with. Nice, Berserk. Cool, cool, cool. Not too bad. We got those bracers, which I do want to see. Kissing hands. Yeah. Braces that unleash their wearer's true power. Yeah, you can probably guess. They only go to our man Joseph. And I wonder if we remove. No. I thought if we remove, he'd get stronger, like stupidly stronger, but I guess not. No difference there. Yeah, it's just best to keep him with these axes and stuff. Body-wise, no change. I can the hairpin, but it makes no difference. So, we are good. Let's, let's press on and see what's down this way. I think the real interesting thing, or the real peculiar thing is, there's one kind of item that we're missing, or one uh, one standard encounter that we're missing. Because I've checked, I've checked over the BC area to see exactly which enemies and creatures we have left, or which enemy and creatures we've ran into. We have technically only one that we haven't run into. Kate Sith, which is an upgrade of the Corals, or the Curals, whatever, the panther looking enemies. We're literally just missing that soul encounter. If we can get that last encounter, we'd be good. That's the end, I forgot. Okay, so I got one more, one more little passageway to go through. Duh, what am I doing? I'm out here rushing ahead a bit. Nice, Totem, I'll take it, I guess. Probably gonna end up selling it. Nice. I know that there was a shortcut. Haha! -ha! The shortcut's still there. Cool. It really is a mirror image of Pandemonium, which is really kind of dumb. There we go. Cursed tomes and toad tomes. Not much there. 
Alright, what is do that? What is through door number tres? Door numero three. This is the final one that's left for us uh, to get through. So might as well see what's up and uh, wrap. <laughs> wrap this whole thing up. Ah, uh, go. The final door. That, 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 that. Nice. They're almost at 16 for cure, which is really cool, but also kind of lame. Whoa! Okay, that crit, that crit from, uh, from Rickard was not anticipating that at all. That was out of nowhere, and I like that. I love that. That is sick. That was insane damage. 2,000 in one single strike? Uh, cool. That's great. Let's go. Gold hairpin. Now the final chest. What is in here? We shall see. Stardust Rod. As you could probably guess, for Minwoo. Of course, a monster in a box, and yep! We are doing battle with none other than Yamatano Orochi. This is gonna be one hell of a time. Yamatano Orochi! Is just as strong as uh, Lucifer. Maybe not as strong, but fairly close in terms of power. It is basically this version's Tiamat. It can be a pain. It can be frightening. How do you miss one every... Whatever. Just set yourself up, of course, and wail as best as you can without sustaining hopefully too much damage. Nine hits, 1400. Yeesh. It is relentless. It is brutal. It is unkind. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Bring it. What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, shell. I, no, I use shell, not blink. Uh, they're all hitting like normal, so I'll just use flare and attack and attack. There's no reason to use aura, so it should be fine. Ow. <sighs> Right, you're missing Protect, I think it was. I think that's the only one you don't have. Oh! Well, it doesn't matter, because he got smacked up anyways. HP, Spirit, Stamina, Life Toe. And there we go. With the final weapon. 178, 188. The Stardust Rod is ours. We have all the best possible gear, equipment, and things like that available to us. So nothing more but to really march ourselves, hopefully, to the end. And I think with that, I'm gonna kind of leave this part here. Just gonna make our way back to the entrance, of course, and get back to that other uh, teleporter pad. Go. Thank you. Diamond Curious. Don't really need it, but I'll take it. But yeah. Next time. Uh. Next time. Join me back here. Where we, uh. Hopefully. Yeah, this one. Where we hopefully make it to the end or get relatively close to the end. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you, love you dudes. Later. Yeesh, fuck, I'm getting interrupted. <sighs> Peace out, everybody.